building's history, know it simply as the Murder Hotel. The infamous hotel was run by a mysterious family for several generations until close to In unrelated news, the trivia murder party killer is still on the loose. Up next, porcupines. This is your wake-up call. Prepare to die. Welcome to Trivia Murder Party. This isn't an ice cream lover's convention after all, but a game of dire consequences. Only one of you will survive. I'm running a hotel and killing people. I've achieved work-life balance. Okay, first question. Besides within us all, where is the secret garden? Use your device to answer the question. And the correct answer is... Who got the question right? The rest of you, time for consequences. Welcome to room 101. It's non-smoking. Let's see who has ESP. Type in an answer that fits this category. Everyone else will answer too. And if anyone matches you, you die. And I do mean anyone. Answer time is coming to an end. You didn't answer. That's unforgivable. Anyway, let's see what everyone else did. If you get your mind red, you get your mind dead. Surprise! Remember, dead players are still players, just more see-through. Keep playing and you just might steal someone else's life force and win the game. Oh, by the way, the audience is a player now and can win the whole frickin' game. If you're not ready now, you can join the audience whenever. It's like super low pressure. Let's try another one. Which major art movement is not considered modern art? Who picked this? The rest of you who are still alive Come with me. Welcome back to the killing room. Ah, the lost art of letter writing. I'm going to dictate a message to you. Write down as much of what I say as you can. The player who writes the fewest of my words will die. Okay, let me lean back in this chair and get my feet up. And we begin. Dear people of the neighborhood, have you seen this cat? It has the eyes of a cat that has seen far too much and answers to the name Muffin. It has been missing for five years, but I have reason to believe it's immortal. Please do not feed it, for it eats only darkness. Time's up. 
Okay, now I'm just gonna do a quick editorial review of your work. And what's the result? Wow, so much unacceptable content here. I mean, look at this one! Yowza! Ah, <laughs> oh, crap! You all died too early! Bummer! I gotta get more sleep because I don't know what the hell just happened. Let's try this again, I guess. It's time for the next question. Hey, let's get our story straight when the police ask questions about this fun game tonight. What does alibi mean in Latin? Wrong. Time for consequences. It's time to bring out the chalices. I've given each safe player a poison pellet. Pick a chalice to drop your poison in. Now it's your turn to play. Pick a chalice to drink from. This refreshing. Now let's see what everyone drank. You're poisoned. You messed it up again? Fine, you don't get my super cool final round. You won't believe this, but I just murdered a group that looked exactly like you. Weird. First question. Which of these instruments does Dr. Teeth, the band leader from The Muppet Show, play? Use your device to answer the question. And the correct answer is... Who got the question right? The rest of you, it's time. Welcome to Room 101. To be frank, I added this one at the last minute. I'm giving each of you a telephone, but I only have five phone numbers. Dial one of these numbers on your rotary phone before anyone else, or you die. Yeah, this is how phones used to be. And don't get me started on life before answering machines. I'm just about to cut the phone line. Ha <laughs> ha! 
You weren't good enough at a skill that is totally useless in a modern world. Let's keep moving. I hope none of you are Jane Goodall. Which of these primates is a monkey? no fun. Let's try another one. In the nursery rhyme, what did the little dog do when the cow jumped over the moon? Welcome to room 217. Another dice game? <laughs> I know, I'm like obsessed with dice. Roll as much as you want to add to your score. I'll kill the player with the lowest score. But go over 21 and you die instead. And don't forget, if they roll a skull, that adds one to everyone's score. This is a game for people who like blackjack, but hate using cards. Time's almost up! You busted! Skulls! Dice! Explosions! Now that's entertainment! I wonder if Pat Sajak ever had to move back into his parents' house. The path to stardom is not always a straight line, you know. I saw that on a Target pillow once. Let's keep moving. Who wrote The Feminine Mystique? Who picked this? The rest of you who are still alive, follow me. Congrats! All of you are entered in my scratch ticket giveaway. Scratch and find three dollar signs to live. If you keep scratching, I'll give you cash for every dollar sign you find. But if you scratch off even one skull, you die. Scratch away! It might be fun to press your luck. The contest is almost over. Ugh, you did the bare minimum? Just like my father's parenting style. If you have a losing ticket, come with me. Players left alive will go to the final round. Next question. The Nile River drains into which body of water? Who 
fit this. Lucky guesses. Let's try another one. What is a narrow strip of land that connects two bigger pieces of land with water on either side? Who picked this? Everyone again? You all need to be taught a lesson. Ugh, this one is heavy. Everyone pick an elevator door. If you all pick the same side, you all live. But if there's a split decision, I will kill everyone on the heavier side. Everyone's going into this with the best intentions, right? Let's see where you all landed. Did I not make it clear that at least one of you should try to betray the others? Come on! I wrote this next question just for you. If you get it right, I will punish everyone else. What was Johnny Cash's last name at birth? And I guess the audience can answer too. And the correct answer is... Did you get the question right? You succeeded! The rest will suffer. There's nothing more fun than fogged up mirrors. The ghost of my Aunt Mildred loves to write words on mirrors. She has her own consistent handwriting. Now, Aunt Mildred is going to write a different word. But so will all the safe players. Draw a word on the mirror to camouflage Aunt Mildred's. Start writing on that mirror. Pay attention to the words as they appear and try to spot my auntie. So many convincing words to choose from. Now, type the word that Aunt Mildred wrote or you die. <laughs> Would the real Aunt Mildred please stand up? Aww, you got it. <sighs> Stupid mirror game. <sighs> Unbelievable. Let's keep moving. What is a calorie? And why can't I stop consuming them? No, just go ahead and answer that first question. Let's try another one. What's the top prize at the Cannes Film Festival? show you something. It's math! One of my least requested mini-games. Do as much math as you can before time runs out. Everyone else will be playing along. If one of them does better than you, it's punishment time. Let's go!
I am here for the math. This is pretty much the end of the time. Hold on. I had to watch math and you didn't die? That's the worst. This is taking forever, and I still need to hose the place down before my next guests arrive. Let's speed this up. You've been very resilient, but only one of you can survive this game. I hope you don't mind a little water. Only one of these keys will open the lock to your tank. So many keys to choose from. You're supposed to find a key that works. Try again. Hurry up, MacGyver. You're running out of time. This would be a good time for an awesome key pun. Hmm. Eh, maybe next time. Congrats on making it here alive! But can you escape? I'm going to give you a category. Has a star on the Hollywood Walk of Fame. Tap each answer that fits the category. Let's see the right answers. You move forward one space for each correct answer. You're a little bit closer to escaping. Oh wait, did you think it was going to be just you? Oh, that's cute. If a ghost catches up with you, they will steal your life force. Then they can escape and win the game. Here's everyone's next question. And they get a third chance to help them catch up to you. Time is almost up. wins because then everyone else dies. Venomous animals. Here comes the next question. College football bowls. Ugh, I gotta get some harder questions. Don't look behind you. Are you afraid of the dark? Wrestlers from Netflix's Glow! Time is almost up! That ghost can smell your life force! Mascots over the Ronald McDonald. Mm, you stole some yummy life force. Not so fast, audience. If you want to break through that barrier, you'll need more than 75% on this question. And if you're still alive and want to break through, you have to get all three answer choices right.
Coffee cake. 